Title, demand, supply, and efficiency consumer surplus is the gap between the price that consumers are willing to pay, based on their preferences, and the market equilibrium price. Producer surplus is the gap between the price for which producers are willing to sell a product, based on their costs, and the market equilibrium price. Social surplus is the sum of consumer surplus and producer surplus. Total surplus is larger at the equilibrium quantity and price than it will be at any other quantity and price. Deadweight loss is loss in total surplus that occurs when the economy produces at an inefficient quantity. Consumer and producer surplus. The somewhat triangular area labeled by F shows the area of consumer surplus, which shows that the equilibrium price in the market was less than what many of the consumers were willing to pay. Point J on the demand curve shows that, even at the price of $90, consumers would have been willing to purchase a quantity of 20 million. The somewhat triangular area labeled by G shows the area of producer surplus, which shows that the equilibrium price received in the market was more than what many of the producers were willing to accept for their products. For example, point K on the supply curve shows that at a price of $45, firms would have been willing to supply a quantity of 14 million. Efficiency, Price Floors, and Ceiling Example The original equilibrium price is $600 with a quantity of 20,000. Consumer surplus is T plus U, and producer surplus is V plus W plus X. A price ceiling is imposed at $400, so firms in the market now produce only a quantity of 15,000. As a result, the new consumer surplus is T plus V, while the new producer surplus is X. The original equilibrium is $8 at a quantity of 1,800. Consumer surplus is G plus H plus J, and producer surplus is I plus K. A price floor is imposed at $12, which means that quantity demanded falls to $1,400. As a result, the new consumer surplus is G, and the new producer surplus is H plus I. Our analysis shows that a price ceiling will transfer some producer surplus to consumers. Conversely, a price floor like a guarantee that farmers will receive a certain price for their crops will transfer some consumer surplus to producers. However, both price floors and price ceilings block some transactions that buyers and sellers would have been willing to make, and creates deadweight loss. Removing such barriers will increase the economy's social surplus.